Hello, how is it going? It is Fake Hero coming at you once again, and we're going to be talking about the Burn Aggro Legends of Runeterra deck. This is a Noxus and Piltover aggressive deck, reasonably priced and easy to pilot. Let's get into it. I have a quick look at some of the cards here, and I'm not going to highlight all the cards, but we've got, you know, cards like Legion, Grenadier, uh, pretty simple. You play, you hit face, and when it dies, it deals damage to the Nexus. It's a uh, high attack to low set of minion. Uh, Legion Regard, Guard, like, we don't really, we're not concerned about our HP, so cards that can't block don't matter, as long as they have high stats and they can smack them in the face, okay? Uh, we just use one feature, one champion card, which is why this deck is pretty reasonably priced, so we don't have many, any epics, many epics at all. I uh, don't think there's any epics actually. Jinx uh, kind of suits along with the strategy, so when it levels up, we can also have a chance of getting death rockets. And uh, it's very suitable because we're going to be using up our hand very quickly. We don't have expensive cards. So we can use the uh, also double Jinx to get some get excited and deal some more damage. Uh, Decimate's pretty straightforward, okay? So you just smack them in the face with a Decimate. Uh, we have also cards that are interesting, like used uh, cast salesmen, which I don't think would fit many other decks at all. Uh, it summons these casts that will deal damage to the Nexus. So as you can kind of see, um, just have another quick look here, you're not going to have much uh, comeback mechanism. So, you know, it's pretty easy, you just jump in. Uh, you don't have to overthink the strategy too much. You just want to play your guys, hit face as much as possible, and hope that that is enough. Let's play some games. Quickly, I would just also like to mention that I am streaming over on Twitch quite regularly at the moment, playing mostly games like Legends of Runeterra and Teamfight Tactics, so feel free to come follow me there and check me out if I'm live. A barrier. The Blade Edge might not be aggressive enough, but it does go hand in hand with Crimson Disciple. This hand looks great, like the one drop's quite important to keep. Uh, Brother's Bond's very good card as well. Uh, against the uh, barriers though, we're gonna get blocked up a lot. I'll keep it. I think in hindsight, one of these cards maybe goes, maybe the Blade's Edge. Because it's quite important that we get as much other game damage as possible and get as many minions as we can. Because he's gonna contest the board. They'll never see it coming. There wouldn't be any reason not to swing here. But He's not going to have mana to uh, give this guy a barrier, and he probably doesn't want to. He wants to give barrier to his higher priority targets. Uh, if he gets Shen down, it's going to be a bit of a problem because it's got a high HP, which is really good against this deck. We have low HP minions, he just needs high HP to deal with them. Doesn't need much attack. Now it's good that we went first there, every point of damage counts. I'm pretty sure this is a strike card attack. I think we float one mana and we play the precious pet. This just pretty much denies him from swinging. Um, this may be a bait, but uh, I wouldn't mind taking this off the field actually. I think you might have a burst spell to give a barrier. We'll see what he does here. Okay. Uh, we're coming out quite nicely. Uh, this is pretty good actually. Let me show Let's you. open up with the disciple just to see what he may or may not put down. And then we're probably just going to play the rear guard, right? And we're going to hit him in the face. Like, I can't. It is so simple how this deck runs. It really is. That's pretty slow. Reporting in. Okay, ready. Yeah, we'll hold the mana. So this is pretty cool too. Uh, the uh, Crimson Disciple. We didn't discuss it before, but when he survives damage, deals damage to the Nexus. We have a couple cards that can synchronize with that Blade's Edge, which could also be pretty flexible as well. I don't see any reason not to put down my cards. He's only at Damasia, so he's... Probably has a deck that wants to rally against me. But I don't know if he wants to rally. I'm pretty sure he may just be more of a... 
that control your deck. But he has Fiora, so most likely Fiora is part of the win condition. Or the other side would be to control the board. My shield is yours. It looks like he's been having a pretty terrible start, if I'm honest. Putting down a minion like this is not ideal. Okay, so this is going to be quite an important turn for us. I think this is a turn where we want to take our time and really sum up our options. I think I feel pretty safe to open up with a Mystic Shot. I'm also a six mana to work with, so we haven't quite got enough to really empty our hand. Unless we discard the Brothers Bond or something, but I don't want to do that. I think we're going to swing first, okay? And we're going to see how he reacts. No, we're not. I think we Mystic Shot. I think we go for a Mystic Shot here. And then we swing. A uh, little mechanics here, little interactions with how the board works. Uh, we can interact with this. So the Blade's Edge is actually going to be really clutch here. Now, for me, this is a decision to make. Empty my hand to level up the Jinx. Start to get the Rockets, deal damage to the face. We can't afford to play the Rockets right now, so... It may just be better to do a lot of face damage. We might lose our Jinx because of this. Because I didn't choose to get excited. Uh, we kind of overkilled that guy. But I think, like, look, we, we, we're, we've got to that point where he doesn't really have much healing. We could probably finish off the rest from hand. You'll soon understand. Incredibly fast games. And, like, I highly recommend this deck, especially... If you're around about the rank where I am, which is like a low mid gold, I think this deck could be quite punishing and rewarding and it can get you to platinum faster, right? Pretty sure we just have lethal. We can try and go for it. I mean, we could get these resources out now. Deal damage to his face. So this should level up the Jinx. That was banger. I wouldn't be surprised to see a uh, deny here. But even so still, we do still uh, have an empty hand. So at the start of our round, we should uh, receive a card. Let's play our things or we'll empty our hand. Uh, there's, there's multiple ways of lethal here. Deal one to an ally to give another ally a buff. So this is cool. We deal one damage to this. Uh, spread out our damage. Two. Actually, there's a more guaranteed, guaranteed way of lethal here. That's to deal damage to this guy and buff one of the casks. So the one damage does here, does it to his face, and then... Oh, incorrect actually, I forgot that he removed all keywords from this. Ah, uh, no problem, I think we're still fine. Okay. This is going to re remove the barrier from Lux, he only has one card, card in hand. We actually had Lethal, if I just targeted one of these things. I misplayed because um, I didn't read the keywords. Doesn't matter. We're not getting punished. That's the beauty of this deck. You just play cards blindly. You're probably either going to win or lose. And it didn't matter too much about what happened in between. Dawn Spiders. But he has the um, Hecarim. Uh, quite important to find early game one drops. Uh, this is a really good stat line versus the spiders. 
Perhaps we put back to Transfusion. Disciple's got a good stat line against Spider. And I like Mystic Shot against the two HP minions. Look, if we're lucky, we find a one drop. He is on the attack though. So look, it's not too stressful if we miss it. Well, it looks like we managed to hit it anyway. We want to float mana to try and play any... Nah, nah, nah. We, I think most of the time, you're just going to play a one drop. Looks like he missed his early game too. Uh, this uh, Boom Crew Rookie is actually such a mental card. And we're going to find lots of value from it. Like a lot, lots and lots of value from this card. I know what lurks in the shadows. Like the fuse. I think we just swing with the one, he'll block, that sets up a mystic shot target. Yeah, I think for this board control is relevant. Uh, we can control the board, we can do more damage in the long run. Given that barrier, it's kind of like, eh, a little bit annoying. I will put down the precious pet. Have more stuff to block. He'll probably swing with the Elise. There's no reason not to. Uh, block here. Block here. Fearsome. Of course. Of course. What if we just take all the damage? Oh, I can't wait. Uh, I was just concerned about crawling sensation more than anything. I don't want to give him a free crawling sensation. We'll open up with a mystic shot here. We do have the Brothers Bond as a burst spell. So young. I pull the strings. I love a taste of the action. Okay, let's see what happens if we swing with everything here. I wonder if uh, it's not worth swinging with this guy though. It makes for a good block from his 3-2. He has a floating of four mana. No closer. Come, stay a while. Glimpse. I think this is not too bad for us. He's going to have some serious refill though. Uh, at this point, it'd be nice to find Jinx. You dare. Better run. Backfired. There's nothing to
Mm, okay. I think the battle cast is going to be good, quite good here. Now you've gone and upset it. I want to give him another chance to play anything. It could have been a, a consideration not to swing with the 5-3. That uh, maybe was probably a bit more correct. But we do want to keep his board quite empty. When I'm summoned, draw a unit if an ally died this round. I'm going to hold on to the precious pet. Just as uh, something to discard if it comes up. Okay, maybe now we play their precious pet. Just as something to block. We probably don't want to take that much damage to the face. The fear seems kind of like annoying. I'm actually going to choose to take quite a lot of face damage here. Okay, that's really good for us. to play here. See I thought about holding a back a card for the get excited for exactly this scenario. We have four minions. This buffs these all up to pretty good trades. I think he may have messed up. Because he's already choosing his blockers, right? So we can't avoid this damage. Which means we just win. Weird uh, interactions there, but we got it. So that's the burn aggro list, okay guys? I do highly recommend it. I think it was like 14,000 shards to craft and I don't believe there was any epics just three copies of jinx so if you I would say if you have a couple of jinxes it'd be worth playing this especially at the lower ranks